Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to another segment of The MCR. Mac and me, my name's TJ. In this segment, uh, I got some information, uh, saw, saw an article out of the, uh, uh, the Gateway Pundit, and it was referencing uh, a CNN commentator by the name of Dana Bash, and she, she was having a tantrum. And in her tantrum, uh, I'm in about uh, the world is upside down, <laughs> you know. Well, uh, I wouldn't argue with that. It may not be the way she thinks it, but I, I, I think it is upside down. Yeah. Well, go, going to the content of this uh, segment here, I, I, I'm, I'm going to I'm going to read uh, her quote from the <laughs> CNN program. She said this on. OK. And uh, Dana Bash said, and I quote. Then you look at other issues, U.S. and world affairs, economy, immigration, Israel, Gaza. Trump has an advantage. And it's actually, if you look at the Israel-Gaza question, the fact that Trump has a 20-point advantage in Michigan, I mean, the world is upside down, end of quote. Thus saith the tantrum having Dana Bash. Her response, she was in response to, she just doesn't see how Trump is leading in the polls. And and I know, I mean, and that's what prompted her, the world is upside down tantrum. Well, okay? here's the thing. I don't know much about her, but I'll assume since she's a, a, a main player at CNN, she's probably rich. So when she goes to the grocery store, she can buy whatever she wants. There aren't any decisions, buy this, buy that. Uh, you know, can, you know, buying the uh, great value brand instead of the Campbell soup brand. Those kind of, those are decisions or not. If she even does her own shopping, maybe she. I does was getting ready to say you're bill. assuming she shops for herself. Yeah, right. So those of us who <laughs> pump our own gas and go to the store and pay for our own groceries, and and pay for them with cash or you know use a card that's for money that's in our account, not EBT cards or however else you're paying on someone else's dime. Uh, she, she doesn't care. It, like so many of these people, and we've said it a million times, probably ad nauseum, they're so out of touch with the average person. They don't understand that they're, they're so, they're being so out of touch is what created a Donald Trump scenario in the first place. Yep. And you know, Mac, just like that, you about went down all my points. Bravo. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, everyone, I wanted to hit Mac completely cold with this, but the scary thing is he and I think so much alike, he literally did hit almost every one of my points. Uh, and and given given what, what you said, Mac, and Dana Bash is saying how upside down the world is. Yeah. You know, you know oh, what, and, I could give here's what like I said, I agree with her. Yeah, it's upside down. When I hear a federal judge has uh, thrown out a case from United States citizens versus DC. So that they can't allow people who aren't citizens to vote in the election. And you know what? That's all going to go one way anyway, so I don't really give a damn. But the idea that a judge says they have no standing. Well, if they don't have standing in this case, what case do they have standing in? You know, there, there is an irony to that particular topic. What Dana Bash doesn't understand is even the minorities, for instance, they admit Trump's getting at least 20 percent of the black vote and they can't figure out why well uh, they're not paying attention and as usual they're not listening to black americans but because black americans are making it quite clear why they're not going to vote for biden because he's bringing people into this country and you know what the, their kids can't go to the rec center because it's full of uh people from god knows where that haven't been vetted that they flew flew there or in some cases, got a ride from uh, Governor Abbott and Governor DeSantis. So, you know, you know, they're all for illegal immigration as long as it stays in Texas, Arizona, New Mexico, and California. Side note, and you, you just now brought it to my mind, uh, Governor DeSantis in Florida said that if the federal uh, government won't let him return the Haitian refugees, he's going to fly him straight to Martha's Vineyard. <laughs> Good. You know, so I don't and, and I don't know where that all stands. It just uh, came to mind as you were talking about uh, the Democrat uh, Biden's uh, administration flying these illegals 
flying flying them into the country and then flying them to wherever they want to go, you know. But right. uh, and then I, and then back dump to the whole them on the people who live there to take care of. Yeah, I, you know, back to the Dana Bash tantrum because she she was having a tantrum. Uh, she's upset that uh, even with the Hispanics, Trump has a slight lead now. Polls are polls, and they say the only poll that really matters is election day. However, this is their poll that has them freaked. So, yeah, that's well, an saw, interesting I, little. I saw twist. a story recently that said that Biden was leading Trump in eight polls, and I thought, I, of course, I immediately dismissed it because, yeah, if all the participants are Democrats, you know, you can get a poll to say whatever you want, and they clearly want to make it sound like Trump can't win. Well, I, I would, and I, I'd, I'd throw this into the mix. I don't think CNN would believe it, given given their tremblings. Uh, yeah, I, I guess the last straw with Dana Bash, though, they did a poll in Michigan, and and Trump holds a twenty percent lead uh, over Biden on the Israel Gaza issue. For those not not uh, familiar with Michigan demographics, will say, uh, you know, there there's in the in the Detroit metropolitan area. There are neighborhoods that are heavily populated with Mideastern ethnicity, both Jewish and Arab. Right. OK, uh, it, you know, you, you got you got, you know, you got uh, Southfield and uh, oh, the small city just east of oh, Southfield. Sure. And I forget. What, yeah. It, uh, you know, it's it's got a very heavy, heavy Jewish community. And then then you go down to Dearborn, where it's uh, uh Middle Eastern, uh, you you got the Highland Park area, parts of Detroit that are heavily heavily Chaldean. Okay, uh, you know the Detroit metropolitan area is heavily populated with various Middle Eastern ethnicities. So for Trump to hold this twenty percent lead over Biden in Michigan, uh, I guess that was just too much for her and those at CNN to stomach. You know, well, here's, they're upset because 20 percent is a lot of boy. you got to fill out a lot of extra ballots and you got to run the copier until it, it falls apart to make up that kind of ground. Well, yeah. And uh, and, that, and and, you know, and that is the Wayne County area, too. Yeah. For the most part. Uh, but uh, it's just uh, here's what I'd like to see. I'd like to see a ruling from the Supreme Court that says any jurisdiction that allows Non-citizens to vote cannot be counted in the federal election. Uh, I was just I was inclined to share and comment on Dana Bash's "The world is upside down." Com. You know, we haven't even touched on the transgender issue where. Well, yeah, you got where the, boys can play against girls and and. Uh, well, like I said, on the comment alone, we would agree. Yeah, uh, EV. You know, you talk about the world being upside down. Okay. Uh, the elect electric vehicle uh, uh, issue. People don't realize this, but you've got to rewire the the electrical rewiring of your average house. Uh, that that's got to be completed for you to set up a charging station. Then the output of the charging station for the electric vehicle pulls such a heavy load, it it in essence triples your electric bill. And and, and that's being. That they're using fossil fuels to create the energy so that we can use those to get rid of fossil fuels. Yeah. You know, that's yeah. the idiocy of it. That's the, that's the world being upside down for sure. Well, we, you know? the thinking get it. The utopians, you know what? I, I, you know, I, I'm out of discussion for them. Okay. Well, so we we agree for different reasons with Dana Bash. The world is upside down, <laughs> but yeah. uh, well, I tell you, you talk, it just blows my mind how how she and those of like mind are just clueless, out of touch. Yeah, the world's upside down. That that's for dog you know, sure. Come live, go live somewhere else for a year on the average person's salary, and then and then maybe they would get it. Yeah, yeah. Well, that that's all I have for this topic, uh, and we'll 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 call this one a wrap. Thanks everyone for your support, and uh, we'll catch you next time. As always, be safe, watch your six, and don't tread on me. <laughs>